But I think that the push here is that uh, you know, we are talking at Can, where we have a bunch of people creating a lot of strategies, a lot of advertisers, and we have a white canvas in front of us. So it, it's up to us what we want to do. It's up to us the picture that we want to paint. And I think that you know we have enough evidence that unstereotyping is not only a good for society, but it's good for business. So I think that this is a push that we really want to take for everyone that is in this palais uh, and the ones that we are going to encounter in our companies and in our uh, lives. But there are many spaces you can occupy instead of being on the stereotype. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So these are the provocations. So think about the role, think about the personality, think about the appearance. Yeah, these three buckets are probably going to solve majority of our problems. Um, so, Equity is the first ever female-driven Wall Street movie. Um, we are directed by women, written by women, two female producers, and it's three leading ladies in, in, yes. the, in the alien <laughs> model. Um, and lovely. I, uh, it was my producing partner's idea, and then we, and when she first came to me with it, I wasn't that interested because I find. Wall Street films so misogynistic. Um, and then I started interviewing women and hearing these real life stories about what it is to be a woman in corporate America, which I am not familiar with, and what it is particularly to be a woman on Wall Street. And some of the stereotyping, some of the sexism, some of the sexual harassment, um, and also how women don't always take care of other women, which was heartbreaking to me in a really deep way and not the story we necessarily wanted to tell but the story we decided to tell because it was true and I wanted to tell a true story to help insight change um, and talk about the fact that women don't always help other women because I think unless we put it forward it Acknowledge doesn't it. change. Yeah. Yeah. Be bold. Uh, it takes risks like to take risks and Change Bar we changed Barbie's shape. We changed her shape, we changed her look. And you know, we went through a process of saying, if we make all these changes to Barbie, who is Barbie? But we wanted Barbie to be reflective of society and so that all girls around the world could relate to this character. And so it was a huge risk, but I have to say the risk paid massive dividends. And so I would just encourage you to be courageous, be bold, um, because with risk comes great return. You know, it's Hollywood. interesting, when Orange started, it was on Netflix, and it was a web series, and no one really knew what it was, and I do believe that a network would not have done it. Mm -hmm. um, and with our film, we were an independent film, and I don't believe a studio would have let us do some of the things we got to do, yeah. because... Yeah. Our investors gave us free reign because um, they were. Are you, are you seeing a change since we've had the Oscars and the boycotting and, and just the conversation at least is out there yeah. when it comes to I think, women? But I think there's absolutely Americans. a change. I think everybody's looking to change. It's. I think what you were talking mm -hmm. about is is how do we then do that in a really thoughtful way and a long term impactful way. And I think what I'm asking everyone to do is don't make an ad about changing the stereotype. Actually just infiltrate everything so that we change society gradually, slowly, but it will happen. But just, just you know, as I said, I'm getting all my creatives to think as, as a Unilever now. When, when I look at anything, how can I make the change in that? How can I be the change? How can I make sure that we have that change throughout everything? So that's what I would urge you all to do. Just, just double check next time before you go back to that muscle memory about it has to be a woman in the kitchen cooking. Does it? Yes. I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> I feel sometimes in, um, in some countries, actually deliberately unstereotyping it would help. I mean, for some years, please don't show women cooking. For some years, please don't show them washing. For some years, please don't say, I love you, mommy. I mean, I think <laughs> the love needs to be translated to respect I mean, there's too much of love going on in television, and I think um, a bit of respect would kind of really help.